Do you ever look back on old pictures of your house and wonder, why did I paint my walls that color? Or, ooh, that couch was cool. And it's not just about changing trends. Our tastes and decor often change as we change and grow. So joining us with some interesting insight on that is designer Aaron Williams. Now, Aaron, we're looking back on pictures of your place 10 years ago, and you and your husband moved to Portugal for a couple of years. Then you had to make some changes when you came back. Why is that? Well, the main reason we had to make some changes is that while we were gone, there were three families that were renting the house from us in, in succession. So a few things got a bit worn. And one of the main things that really did not survive was that fantastic fuchsia sofa, which was originally a vintage piece I'd found in a great corduroy. And it just didn't make it once it was reupholstered in that lovely pink color. It didn't survive all the kids jumping on it and using it as a trampoline. So we had to change it up. So luckily, I found a fabric that would be just as durable, and we actually went back to corduroy. So the new sofa is a fantastic burnt orange. It's very, very clean and crisp lined. It's actually the Vera from my collection at Hudson's Bay, but it's super comfortable. And basically, it's the camp for the dogs. It's where they sit and look out the window and watch the world go by. Now, just to talk a little bit about collections, uh, I know David, your husband, loves his albums and those have really grown over the years so you had to accommodate for that somehow sure storage is a big deal in our house and listen i'm the one that collects a lot of stuff but in reality david has hundreds and hundreds of albums once we first moved into the space we had a a unit that was literally two doors and that held just a couple of hundred we had to get a second ikea unit was luckily 10 years later they were still making it and that was a three-door unit and now that holds probably close to 650 700 albums in it and actually which i love because every single night it's basically a disco in our house that is my kind of house when we can get back to visiting people I want to come to your party. Okay, the other thing I noticed about your space is you've got beautiful tables, side tables. They're all different. Yeah, the side tables are all different. And really, that works in this space because I think of them like sculpture. So I know people get really hung up on every single thing matching, matching the same finishes, matching the same details. But if you go the opposite way and bring in pieces that have a lot of personality, each on their own, then they'll totally survive. So as long as it holds a cocktail, it's doing the job, right? I want to go back to the coffee table uh, for a moment there. Tell us a little bit about that. So the coffee table was another vintage find. It's a big brass tray table, which I just adore. We found it in Port Hope. That piece has survived because when we first bought it, it already looked beaten up. The brass was already patinated. It's never been polished in the whole time we have it. So really, it has survived all of those knocks and bangs over the year. And that patina, that surface on the brass, only looks better with time. And I love a tray table like this one because it's a perfect way to actually show your collections on it. So I have so many bits and bobs throughout the house. I am literally on a weekly basis pulling things, changing little tablescape here, and always bringing in new things that I can show there. And just pieces that I love that I want to be able to see rather than having them away in a cupboard. Well, from our vantage point, we're seeing the backs of those chairs and they look so gorgeous. They fit so well in your space. So what can you say about the chairs in your space now versus 10 years ago? So 10 years ago, I found some vintage aluminum office chairs and had them reupholstered in a really punchy turquoise velvet, which worked so well in the space, but it was time for a change. They had actually survived, but I wanted something that was a bit larger and a bit more comfortable. So now these are the Nancy chairs. These are really super comfortable, great kind of curve back on them and a really fantastic fabric. This fabric is called Dr. Dazzle. It's one of my favorites. It actually has gold metallic threads running through it. So it adds a super sparkly touch and it picks up on other things in the room like the brass detailing in the coffee table and even kind of the metallic look that you'll see in the wallpaper too. The place is stunningly elegant, although you are scratching your head over one element and that's the wallpaper. Tell us about the wallpaper. I love the wallpaper. It's been up since we moved into the house. And for us, it's just part of everyday life. We've got art walls up against this, even though it's a strong, strong pattern. And it really, really works. And I like the fact that it actually has a mid-tone metallic in it. But being a designer, I still want to change things up. I would love to pull down the wallpaper. So we've done a few polls with friends on Instagram and everyone who's been to the house always says, keep it. And everybody who hasn't been to the house always says, rip it down. So I have still yet to make a decision. I think the idea of a painted white wall would be fantastic, but we'll have to see what, what, what will actually